No war against the people of Afghanistan. No war against the people in Pakistan. U.S. troops out now all over the world. While politics at the COP15 is creating a rift between the developing and the developed nations, a group of protesters are gathered in front of the U.S. Embassy to demand action from President Obama in securing a climate deal and also to withdraw from Afghanistan and Iraq. Amid tight security, the group of peaceful protesters from different parts of the world gathered to show opposition to the U.S. policies, ranging from inaction towards securing a politically binding climate deal to the recent pledge of additional troops to Afghanistan. Some of the protesters call for U.S. and European action towards the Durban Treaty that calls on the former colonial powers to pay reparations for enslaving people of color for hundreds of years. 2001, we were able to win with a lot of struggle, a declaration at the United Nations that said that the enslavement of African people, colonialism, and apartheid was indeed a crime against humanity, and that reparations were due. And we need you all in Europe, and you all in America, who don't support reparations, to get on board with that, to deal with this 500-year war that has been going on against African and indigenous people. Local supporters also call for U.S. and Danish withdrawal from Iraq and Afghanistan. The right thing to do is to leave Afghanistan to the people and to the, to the government, although, of course, it's U.S. is still controlling. There was also a deep sense of disappointment towards lack of commitment from the U.S. in reducing carbon emissions. Since the United States is a major uh, leading greenhouse gas polluter in the world and coming here to this World International uh, Conference on Climate Change with some measly 16% cut in greenhouse gas. That's a slap in the face. They called for stringent measures from Obama on the domestic front before allocating resources to military interventions. We have high rates of unemployment in the United States, in my community, in the Afro-American community. Our streets need paving. We need schools. Teachers are being laid off. Uh, uh, people with disabilities uh, and mental illnesses, programs are being cut back. And yet, President Obama can find money to go to war. Some of these protesters will stay on for the duration of the COP15 to express their demands when the world leaders of industrialized nations, especially Obama, show up next week. This is Preeti Nalu, Press TV.